oftentimes um, our users will want the ability to filter by multiple uh, values like maybe multiple serial numbers and if they have used Excel for any amount of time they are most likely going to ask you for the ability to copy and paste in a bunch of serial numbers. Unfortunately Unfortunately, out of the box, Power BI doesn't provide such functionality. And the only thing that you can do is in the filters pane, or you could add a slicer on serial number. So you know, in this case, you'd have to change it to a list. And you could filter like this. And then if you chose control clicked those boxes, then you can select multiple of them. But um, for those uh, you know, where the number of serial numbers out here are in the thousands, if not tens of thousands, uh, and they need to paste in you know, 20, 30 different serial numbers, that is painful to go in and select it one by one. So most users are going to ask you for a way to uh, filter by you know, some kind of a copy and paste. And it's truly unfortunate that such functionality doesn't um, exist out of the box in Power BI. Um, now, there's a really simple way to implement this. And it's kind of odd that uh, this is not more widely known about uh, because I've uh, Googled it and I've never found the solution. And I uh, happened upon this um, solution by accident today, uh, which is why I'm recording it. So it's done through an app source visual. And to get that app source visual, you're going to typically click on get more visuals. And that will pop open a dialog. And in here, you're going to type mass filter. And so that's the name of this uh, uh, visualization. And so if you click on that, it gives you some you know, information about what this filter is and who built it. And um, you know, it's free. Um, so it's awesome um, and you can just click on add and it'll show up out here now because I've already added it uh, it gives me this uh, message but in your case if you have never added it then um, yeah, you won't see that uh, pop-up dialog and then you will see this uh, dialog that says import successful once it's available this is what the icon looks for, uh, like for the mass filter and it shows up in your visualizations. And so you can now um, make sure that your um, uh, table is not selected. So click in some white space. And if you click on the mass filter, the next thing that you need to do is choose the field by which you need to filter this by. Um, and I'm going to use the serial number. So once you do that, one of the things that I like to do is format it. And so if you go to your format tab um, and then look at search box, you can type in what this field is filtered by. And so in here, I can type in serial number and also add a placeholder that says um, comma separated list. So you could have uh, uh, the values separated by um, lines also. So once you have that, we can bring in some test values. So once you paste it in here, just hit the filter update filter button here. And voila, it goes and filters your table. Um, and we can try updating this and that works too um, and if we wanted to try a comma separated list the minute you hit update filter it'll automatically uh, make it into separate lines and filter your uh, table now uh, some of the uh, things to know about how this filter works um, you know, just before that you hit the uh, clear filter button and it resets the list. Um, so instead of serial number, let's change this to be name. So now that I've changed it to name, I should update my placeholder.
and now it says superhero now the way this filter works is it doesn't do a contains or any kind of uh, search like that it does uh, an exact uh, match so if I type in doctor and look for it it's not going to show anything I need to do I need to type in doctor strange um, in the same way I don't think I haven't tested this but I think if you had commas in your uh, text field then it wouldn't search uh, by it because the minute you put a comma it's going to think of it as two separate records so those are just some limitations but uh, in the use case that I am going to use this uh, I know my um, end users are going to be super happy to be able to paste a list of values in here and uh, filter by them um, so uh, this I hope helps you too